We turn tonight to an ABC News exclusive. This evening, we take you on board a nuclear-powered U.S. Navy submarine, a guided missile submarine now on a classified mission tonight. We were there in the eastern Mediterranean where they're not the only ones in the sea. Tonight, the tomahawks, the torpedoes, the nuclear reactor, and the warning about the Russians right there, too. We approach the USS Florida in the eastern Mediterranean as it prepares for a highly classified mission. So this is 18,000 tons we're looking at. 18,000 tons of American steel out there. A nuclear-powered U.S. Navy guided missile submarine, 160 crew on board. They call it the silent service for a reason. That's right. They deploy underwater for up to 120 days, several months at a time. We are given rare access as we board the submarine. Sure. Thank you. Rear Admiral That's William exactly. Houston describes where we are standing just above the Tomahawk missiles. This can lift up at any time. This could lift up at any time on order if we wanted to launch the Tomahawk missiles. And how many Tomahawks are we sort of standing on right here? Right now, seven. They have more than 100 Tomahawks at the ready, and he points out something else. We won't go any further, but you're literally standing 10 to 20 feet from an operational nuclear reactor right now. They are about to take us down into the submarine, where we will spend the next 24 hours traveling with them. A maze of narrow hallways and hatches. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Every inch of the submarine is used. They give me a harness. Your head's going to go right in between there. As we prepare to climb to the top of the sub to the bridge, we wait for word. Control bridge, send ABC to the bridge. Up the ladder through several hatches, they tell you when it comes to your hands and your feet, make sure three out of four are touching at all times. We climb to the top where they are on patrol as the submarine leaves port. Preparing to descend into the sea. Back down inside the submarine, Captain Seth Burton takes us past the missile tubes holding the tomahawks. So inside this tube right here, seven missiles. Seven tomahawk missiles. And we take note that in between the curtains drawn where the sailors sleep. The sailors are actually sleeping in between the tomahawk missiles. Inside the submarine control room, they are about to deliver the order to descend. Submerge ship, dive I. Dive, dive. A camera shows the submarine disappearing under the water surface. 400 feet. Eventually descending 400, 500, more than 600 feet beneath the surface of the sea. They train to move the submarine as carefully and as quickly as possible. 13 degree up angle. Soon we are all leaning with no effort. Pull up point. It is precision work in these waters of the eastern Mediterranean. They have to be ready. There are others here too. We put the submarine right in this eastern portion of the Mediterranean to counterbalance the Russia buildup in Syria. Do you have company here in the Mediterranean? Uh, we do have plenty of company. The Russians are very active, and uh, we're active with them. Bridge Elm passing 270 to the left. The U.S., aware the Russians, are trying to send a message. The Russians have demonstrated their willingness to use missiles from submarines. They did it from the Black Sea yes. into Syria, and, and now the Russians are here in the Mediterranean. They absolutely are, and we're watching them very, very closely. You so, are? Yeah. There's really not a day where we're not watching them every single day. Are they watching us? Um, I think they'd like to watch us. In fact, the Russians recently showing their own underwater muscle in the Barents Sea. And just days ago, testing their new sea-based ballistic missile. It's not lost on anyone what we've seen from the Russians in just the last week and a half. Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons why we're here. At night, we watch as they use a periscope with an infrared camera above the water. Initial search complete. Hold no contacts. Right. So we're alone. We're alone. Nobody's there, which is good. We crawl through another hatch and snake our way to the nuclear reactor. Coming through. And soon we are standing in front of the hatch. They have sealed off. We're basically traveling on the submarine with a nuclear reactor. Absolutely. We can operate more than 90 to 120 days submerged. And the reason is because that reactor gives us all the power we need. And we ask, who is behind the hatch? So the team back there is about 11 watchstanders, highly trained nuclear operators. And this submarine has only been refueled once. Only once. And that nuclear power also produces oxygen on board while under the sea. When you're five or 600 feet below the surface, you got to use the resource you have, which is water. Right. We're breaking down demineralized water into oxygen and hydrogen. And there is something else about the USS Florida. 
it is always ready for U.S. Special Forces, for Navy SEALs, their weapons already on board. We are about to climb to see the small compartment attached to the top of the submarine where Navy SEALs, U.S. Special Forces would deploy right into the water. Keep in mind, the submarine is still hundreds of feet beneath the sea. This is the dry deck shelter on top of the submarine. In fact, we're still about 200 feet beneath the surface of the Mediterranean here uh, in this room. This is where the Navy SEALs would deploy in a Navy SEAL a delivery vehicle of some sort. And in fact, the only thing separating me from the intense pressure of the water is this black hatch. And in fact, if you listen, you can actually hear the water. And on board, there is one more powerful weapon, the torpedo. Because as, as a captain, you always want to be ready. And uh, So this one here? That's right. They have eight of them, one of them already loaded. Captain Burton is the commanding officer of the USS Florida. You just look at the region, and, and you've got ISIS in northern Africa. You've got what's going on on the, on the Turkey-Syria border right now. The fact that you're here in the Mediterranean, does that give you a set of silent eyes for the U.S.? Absolutely. It gives them eyes where no one knows that they're being looked at. And tonight, the USS Florida, now on that classified mission. Nobody knows where it's at in the Mediterranean at any one time. Including now? Including now. And tonight, all we can report here is that that classified mission does continue. But the rear admiral and the captain made it clear to me, given the region that they're in, the eastern Mediterranean, there is plenty for them to track there, plenty of intelligence to send back to Washington. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.